making a request for authentication or something like that. It could be used for that. That's where that domain name might come in. It's optional, but that's where it might come in. I might have a lease time, just like we do for IPv4, defaults 24 hours. I might have a lease time in here. These, notice these are common to all the networks. I'm not doing anything that would limit me to a single IP subnet, IPv6 subnet. These are global stuff. This is this is the DNS server address, which is outside of my network. This is the domain name, which encompasses everybody. The lease time, which could be common to everybody. So what the, the result of this is, is in my router, I create a single pool, one time, one pool, that is referenced from each of the interfaces. You'll notice the rest of the configuration on slide 24. And I can go in and say, oh, on this particular interface, go to this pool, add on, by the way, Slack is still active here. Slack is gonna provide three out of the four values that are necessary. But we're just supplementing it with this one little extra push to say, hey, go out up to this IP DHCP server. Let's well, not really the server, that's the pool. I wish, kind of wish it had said go to this pool name, but I guess 